Daniel Ricciardo will make his F1 return in Hungary for Alpha Tauri and a Red Bull drive in 2024 is not out of the equation. Martin Brundle has suggested Daniel Ricciardo may have a secret clause in his Alpha Tauri deal. The Sky Sports F1 commentator has claimed Ricciardo could have another deal on the table if he does well at the Italian team. Brundle's remarks come after several pundits highlighted that the move could be a warm-up for a potential Red Bull seat alongside Max Verstappen. Brundle told Sky Sports News, I'm really pleased to see him back, but just my honest reaction was, wow. Daniel's going to do that, is he? It surprised me. Daniel's always talked about H has lost his mojo and he needs to get his enthusiasm back, and so I didn't think he'd take that, unless there's another deal that goes with it. You do this and then down the road well do that. He added, my overriding feeling here is Formula One feels a better place when Daniel Ricciardo's on the grid, and I hated seeing him having to loiter around all weekend. Ricciardo's first race back will be at the Hungarian Grand Prix next weekend with Nike de Vries was sacked with immediate effect. Red Bull bosses made the decision hours after Ricciardo finished a Pirelli tyre test at Silverstone. His times were understood to be competitive on all three compounds while his best time would have been quick enough for the front row of the grid at the British Grand Prix. Red Bull has reassured Perez that his seat is safe but Helmut Marko has warned his qualifying performance is needed to improve. The 33-year-old has now been eliminated from Q1 on three occasions and has failed to make the final shootout in the past five weekends. F1 TV presenter Will Buxton stressed it, shouldn't be a surprise, if Ricciardo is back at Red Bull next season. He feels the deal is clear evidence that the team were, seriously evaluating, Ricciardo as a possible option to partner Verstappen. Meanwhile, Ted Kravitz feels the move will worry Perez if Ricciardo starts getting positive results. But, Brundle feels the Australian will still need to prove himself alongside Japanese youngster Yuki Tsunoda to stand any chance of securing a further promotion. He added, it's high risk for Daniel in what is probably the slowest car on the grid. H has got to beat Tsunoda, H has absolutely got to. He needs to edge him in Qualey and in the races, that's an absolute given as an expectation. Maybe he can outperform that car. If he can massively outperform that car and get it somewhere near the top 10 and keep it there in the race, then maybe it will be his salvation in that respect.